John Laval here. Um, this is about car insurance and unemployment, how they're they're connected. Um, car insurance, so not car insurance, insurance period. Okay, not just car insurance, but insurance companies have set their rates up so high that they're taking a huge amount of everybody's income to buy the insurance. And, uh, like I've heard of uh, uh, second uh, drivers, these would be kids uh, who have their license now. Now the city are paying uh, uh, $10,000 a year or more. Okay, that's a lot of money. And you got your own insurance and your wife's insurance and who knows how many kids you've got. You got the house insurance and the boat's insurance, so is the schedule. So they're basically, you know, taking a massive chunk out of your uh, out of your wallet. Now here's the connection. All that money that you paid insurance uh, has you now where you can't go out and buy say a, well, I don't know, garden furniture or, or a new television or a toaster or whatever the hell you need or want. You don't have the money because it's all went to the insurance company. Uh, insurance companies don't really employ anybody. They just gathers up money. Now, here's the effect. If you don't go to the store and buy lawn furniture or a toaster or uh, a new television, uh, neither is anybody else. So what happens is the stores that sell this stuff have to start laying off their workers because they're not... They don't need that many workers if not that many people are coming in to buy anything. Now the people who manufacture and supply these goods uh, don't have any more outlets or their, their uh, orders are really, really small. So they start laying off people. And uh, uh, if they, it gets too bad, the company will crash. Uh, and you'll get, uh, if one company crashes, then the next crashes because there just isn't enough uh, market activity for the products and uh, so now you've got massive unemployment and uh, the government should step in and say to the uh, insurance companies there's no more of this okay because you're ruining the country is what you're doing this is why uh, we have heavy unemployment because uh, money has to move and it has to move towards goods insurance isn't good you don't get anything but a piece of paper that says I'm insured that's what you get and the legal right to drive or uh, whatever. I know you to say, well, I'm protected. So what? You could buy, you could pay for the accident for what the hell it costs you in insurance. And by the way, the insurance never goes down once they bump the premiums up after you've had an accident. You'll be paying that accident 10 times over by the time you're finished. And because uh, I never heard of insurance going down. You've set the bar higher and uh, they'll charge you uh, indefinitely. They make money out of it, out of uh, an accident. They don't lose any money, and uh, <clears throat> so uh, the government needs to step in and say uh, no more because you're, you're destroying the country as far as uh, uh, potential for employment or just keeping the people who are employed. Because now the people who's left that are employed are paying uh, taxes uh, to uh, cover the cost of. Uh, uh, the unemployed needs, which is, uh, you know, uh, social assistance, some benefit uh, where they can eat and, uh, you know, pay their bills. And uh, it can get worse and worse and worse. If it gets too bad, uh, there'll be a problem with the banks. And we don't want the banks to uh, crash. Because if the banks crash, the country's uh, pretty well toast. Okay, so this is uh, why we should stand up against the insurance companies. Or lobby your government and say, listen, uh, this is what I know. Uh, and uh, like, if you didn't know it, you got it from me. I don't need the credit. Just go there and tell them it was your idea. I don't really care how you get the message across, but tell them that uh, I love my country. And if you love, if you love my country or your country, how about doing something about the insurance thing here because uh, they're just raking in trillions of dollars a year and uh, they're of no benefit to the, uh, the employment situation, first of all. And uh, I'm not spending any money at stores because i got to pay these bastards all this money. 
and uh, chances are your house isn't going to burn down and uh, yeah you might have an accident but as I said you get to pay the thing for what you're paying in premiums you're better off paying it although don't do that because apparently it's illegal to do that like I'm not giving you advice uh, if you pay for an accident it's found out by the insurance company they'll cancel you and you'll have one hard time finding another insurance to pick you up if you've been cancelled so that that was not a piece of advice I'm just telling you the, the basic uh, uh, what do you call it uh, the matrix of the issue is <laughs> it's cheaper to pay for the accident it is uh, for these constant uh, premiums that you have to pay and they know this they're just money grabbers it's, uh, it's been a scam since the beginning of insurance anyways I thought you should know that